Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. It's Stitch of the Week time and this week's stitch is the Lacy Shell and Bobble Stitch. This is a beautiful stitch pattern where if you look really closely, you're going to see those shell stitches and you're going to see the bobble stitch. Now don't let these fancy name stitches called the bobble stitch scare you. Very simple technique of just putting two stitches together for this bobble and I'll walk you step by step through the process. Now this stitch pattern is a multiple of six plus eight. So you would chain six chain six again, keep chaining in multiples of six, and when you get your project to the width you want, then you add eight more chains. Now I have four samples to show you because I was having so much fun, I just wanted to create different looks with this stitch pattern. So this first sample I made using a self-striping yarn, and this is Landscapes, this is by Lion Brand, and I'll put links to all these yarns that I'm showing you in the description box if you want to check them out. So this is color Boardwalk, color number 201. This is a beautiful yarn, a soft yarn, an easy yarn to work with. So this is a four medium weight yarn and I'm using a size 10J hook for my samples today. So this is the yarn and then you see how it works up with this size sample. Now my second sample, a little bit harder to see the details of this because it's white on a white table, but I always like a white sample because it always looks so elegant and just really a classic look when you do any stitch pattern in just white. So for this sample, I just use the basics, the Premier Basics. It's a four worsted weight yarn, very affordable yarn at $3.39 a skein, and it comes in a big seven ounce skein for those solid colors. So again, this is my second sample made using the white. My third sample, I thought, okay, let's see what it looks like when you change colors every row. Now, it is frustrating with all those yarn ends, but it all depends on what kind of look you want to get. If you want to use maybe dark blue, uh, another shade of blue, then lighter blue, this would look beautiful when you use those gradient colors and just run the colors up through the design. Anyway, you want to choose to do this would look gorgeous. Now this sample was made, I mixed two different yarns. I used Premier White and the Basics because that's what I had when I was working on my other samples. And then I grabbed the Red Heart Super Saver and this is color Bikini. This is color number 0929. Just fun bright colors. Now I thought this come out pretty. You can see the laciness in this pattern. So just a nice creative way to use up some of those multicolors. So again, this was sample number three, changing colors every row. My last sample, I had some Christmas multi, and you know when fall comes, you start thinking about Christmas. So this sample I made using Premier Basics White. And then I used the Premier Basics Multicolor, and this comes in a smaller skein. This comes in a five ounce skein for $3.39. You can see those pretty red, white, and green. And then this is what it looked like changing colors every two rows. And if you decide to change colors every three rows, it's gonna have a different look. If you change colors every four rows, it will have a different look. So it's just a fun stitch pattern to play around with and see what you like best. Now I just wanted to show you all four of my stitch samples together so you could really see the difference of how a color change or where you change your colors can make a difference. So it's just extraordinary how you can take one simple crochet stitch pattern and give it so many different looks. So for my sample today, I'm just going to use up some more of my landscapes. I love this yarn. And again, I'm using Boardwalk and I'm going to use a size 10J or six millimeter hook. Now this yarn says it is recommended a size K 10 and a half or 6.5 millimeter. So it's your choice, whatever hook size you want to use. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get started. 
I already have my yarn attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer. We're going to begin and work a sample swatch and we're going to chain 20. 20 is the multiple of 6 times 2 for 12 and then we're going to add 8 extra chain for a total of 20. Yarn over, pull through, that is your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Continue until you have a total of 20 chains and I'll be back and we'll start row 1. I have my 20 chains and now we're ready to begin row 1. For row 1 we're going to skip the first 4 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yarn over, insert into the 5th chain from hook and we're going to work a half double crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's how you do a half double crochet. Half double crochet back into that same chain. You're going to chain two. And now we're going to work two more half double crochet into that same chain. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain, work two half double crochets. One, and two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your skip four chains, and that counts as a first half double crochet plus a chain two, and then you're going to have two half double crochet, a chain two, and two half double crochet all into that same chain. So now we're ready to start our repeat. So this is the point if you need help, you'll click back on the video. You'll start where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat. And we're going to repeat this across to our last three chains. So let's go ahead and start our repeat. We're going to skip the next two chains. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain and we're making our bobble stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull back through. You're going to have three loops on your hook. You're going to keep these two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into that very same chain, yarn over and pull back through. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two loops only. You're going to have three loops on your hook. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook. Your bobble stitch is made. So very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you're going to breeze right through this pattern. Now we're going to skip the next two chains. We're going to work a half double crochet into this next chain. Half double crochet back into that same chain. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work two half double crochet back into that same chain to form our shell. That's one, and two, and that is the end of the repeat. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. We're going to skip two chain and we're going to work our bobble stitch into the next chain. Yarn over, insert into that next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You're going to leave those two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, insert back into the same chain, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, you're going to yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and this creates your bobble stitch. So now we're going to skip the next two chain and work our shell stitch into the next chain. Half double crochet into that next chain. Half double crochet back into the same chain. 
you're going to chain two and then work two more half double crochet into this same chain. That's one. And that's two. And that is the end of the repeat. And now we're over at the end of the row and you should have three chains remaining. So if you're working on a wider project, then you're just going to continue skipping two chain, work your bobble stitch, and then skip two chain and work your shell stitch. You're going to repeat that across to the last three stitches. So to end row one, we're going to skip the next two chain work a half double crochet into that very last chain. Now I did forget to tell my new crocheters when you're working on a pattern you want to mark your first and last stitch so you can go ahead and put a stitch marker right here in the last stitch and then when you go back to the beginning of the row you want to put a stitch marker right into the top of the turning chain so here is your first half double crochet so you want to put a stitch marker right into this chain here right beside that first stitch and then that way when you're coming back for row two you're going to know this is where you place your last stitch so again if you're new to crocheting always use stitch markers because the most common place of where a new crocheter makes a mistake is at the beginning or end of the row. So now it's time to begin row two. For row two, we're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. Your beginning chain two will act as the first half double crochet stitch. So when we're working this pattern, we're working into the chain two spaces and we're going to be working into the top of the bobble stitch. So let's go ahead and begin row two. Now row two, we're switching to a single crochet stitch. You're going to insert into that first chain two space and work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain space. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That is a single crochet single crochet back into that same chain two space. You're going to chain two and now we're going to work two more single crochet into that same chain two space. Insert into the chain two space, work two single crochet. One and two. So now we're ready to start our repeat and our repeat is going to start in the top of the bobble stitch. So again, if you need help, this is where you're going to click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat and work until I say this is the end of the repeat. So let's begin the repeat. Here is your bobble stitch. And this looks confusing because if you're new to crocheting and even if you're an experienced crocheter, you're seeing what looks like two stitches here. Here's your bobble stitch and you're thinking, okay, which one's the right one to go in. Well, this stitch here is the portion of this last half double crochet made. This is your bobble stitch and this is the top of the bobble stitch because you're looking at your work on the wrong side. So when you turn your work over, you're going to see those two stitches. Again, this is the last half double crochet worked and the top of the bobble stitch is here, which shows up on the left side of the stitch. So let's go ahead and start our repeat. Again, you're going to single crochet into the top of the bobble and you want to follow that stitch to the top. Insert right on the left hand side. Now this is for right hand crocheters. Insert up at the top left hand side of that stitch under the top two loops. Work one single crochet. Now we're going to jump over to our next chain two space of our next shell insert into the chain two space you're going to work two single crochet one and two you're going to chain two insert back into that same chain two space work two single crochet one and two and that is the end of the repeat 
So let's do the repeat again. You're going to jump over to your bobble stitch. You're going to follow the stitch to the top and insert on the top left side of the stitch under those top two loops. Work one single crochet. Now we're going to jump over to our shell stitch. We're going to insert into the chain two space. Work two single crochet. One, two, you're going to chain two, and then back into that same chain two space, work two more single crochet. One, and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So you would continue and work a single crochet into the top of the bobble, and then you would work two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet, into the center of the next shell stitch. And then when you get over to the end, all you're going to have is your turning chain. So when you look at the turning chain, this is why it's important that you know and mark those stitches, because this is where you're going to have trouble if you don't mark your stitches. Because you have to remember, when you're working on the wrong side plus a half double crochet, the stitches are going to look deceiving. So when you turn your work over, you're going to notice that this is the last stitch here, and this is the first chain of the turning chain. So if you're not sure and you don't have a stitch marker, just turn your work over, make sure you're going into that top chain, which is right here. So again, you're skipping those two half double crochets, and we're working a half double crochet into the top of the turning chain. So yarn over, insert into the top of that turning chain, work a half double crochet. And row two is finished. Now we're ready to begin row three. Row three, we're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to turn your work. Your beginning chain two will count as the first half double crochet. So for this round, we're going to be working into the chain two space of each shell, and then we're going to be working our bobble stitch into the single crochet between the shell stitches. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to work two half double crochet into that chain two space of your first shell stitch. One, and two. You're going to chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space. One, and two. So now again, when you look at your work, you're going to have this beginning chain two, and then you're going to have your shell stitch with your half double crochets and chain two. So you want to move your stitch marker up to the top of this beginning chain two, and make sure you're not going into the first half double crochet. You want to go in this chain here, so put your stitch marker into that chain so you know where your last stitch is when you're coming over. So now we're going to start our repeat. So if you need help, this is the start of the repeat. You're going to work your bobble stitch into the single crochet between the current shell and the next shell, right here in the center. Yarn over, insert into that single crochet, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. Yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your bobble stitch is made. Now we're going to jump over to the center of our single crochet shell right into that chain two space. You may have to use your fingernails or your hook, open that space up. This is where we're going to work. We're going to work two half double crochet into that chain two space of that next shell. One. And two. 
you're going to chain two. Now we're going to work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. We're going to work a bobble stitch into this single crochet between the current shell and the next shell right in the center. Yarn over, insert into that single crochet, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You have two loops on your hook and they stay on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Your bobble stitch is made. Now we're going to come over to our shell stitch and we're working right into this chain two space. So again, it wants to close up. Just stick your hook in there and open that right up. We're going to work two half double crochet into the chain two space. One and two. You're going to chain two now we're going to work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space. And that is the end of the repeat and your shell stitch is made. So again, if you're working on a wider sample or maybe a wider project, just continue and work a bobble stitch into the single crochet between the current shell and the next shell and then work your half double crochet shell into the chain two space of the next shell. You're going to continue until you get to the last repeat and then when you look at your work again you're going to have a stitch marker right into the top of your turning chain. So you're going to be skipping the last two single crochet of the shell below and you're going to put a half double crochet into the top of that turning chain. So yarn over, insert into the top of that turning chain, work your half double crochet. And that is the end of row three. So again, very important if you're new to crocheting that you know where the beginning and ending of the row is because that's where you're going to make your mistake. So you're going to repeat rows two and three for the pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and work it again really quickly. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm just going to go ahead and work it and work the stitches and then after I repeat row two and three one more time I'm going to show you how to put a straight edge on your last row if you choose to do so. So let's go ahead and do row two again. You're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work. Work two single crochet into the next chain two space of that first shell. One and two. You're going to chain two. Work two more single crochet into that same chain two space. One and two. Single crochet into the top of your bobble stitch. Now we're going to work a single crochet shell stitch into the chain two space of the next shell work two single crochet, one, two, chain two, insert back into that same chain two space, work two more single crochet, one and two. You're going to single crochet into the top of your bobble stitch, now we're over to our shell stitch, so we're going to work two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet into the chain two space of that next shell stitch. One, two, you're going to chain two, and then work two more single crochet into that same chain two space. One, and two. 
So when you work in the last shell stitch across, then you're over at the end of the row and you have one stitch to go. You're going to come over and you're going to half double crochet into the top of the turning chain. You need to come all the way over to the second chain. So if you're not sure, just count up from the bottom, one, two, work a half double crochet into the top of that turning chain. So row two is finished. Now we're going to repeat row three. For row three, you're going to chain two, and again, that beginning chain two counts as the first half double crochet. So now we're going to work our half double crochet shell into this first chain two space of this first shell stitch. Work two half double crochet into that chain two space. One, and two. You're going to chain two, work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space. One, and two. Now we're going to work our bobble stitch into the single crochet between the current shell and the next shell. Work your bobble stitch. And again, if you need help with this stitch, you can click back to row three of the beginning of the video. Our bobble stitch is made. Now we're going to work our half double crochet shell into the chain two space of the next shell. Work two half double crochet into that chain two space. One and two. You're going to chain two work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space. One, and two. Now you're going to work your bobble stitch into that next single crochet between the current shell and the next shell. And we're over to our last shell, so we're going to work a half double crochet shell into that last chain two space of that last shell. Work two half double crochets, one and two. You're going to chain two and work two more half double crochet into that same chain two space, one. and two. And when you work in the last shell stitch, you know you have one stitch remaining and you're going to put that right into the top of your ending chain two. So again, very important that you're using stitch markers if you're new to crochet. So you're going to yarn over, come down, you can count from the bottom up, count up one, two, insert into the top of that turning chain, work your half double crochet. And that is the end of row three. So again, I went pretty detailed for row two and three the first time, and then I went a little more quickly the second time I did row two and three. So if you really need the detailed help, click all the way back in the video to the beginning of row two and three until you get the hang of the pattern. And I'll have time stamps in the description box underneath the video that can help you find your starting and stopping point for those rows. So again, to continue working on your sample, you're going to repeat row two and three for the pattern. Now, when you get your sample swatch or whatever you're making to the length you want, if you want a straight edge, then you're going to do the finishing row. So let me show you how to do the finishing row. So for the very last row, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. You're going to turn your work. You're going to place a double crochet right at the base of the chain three into that first stitch. Yarn over, insert into the very first stitch under the top two loops, work a double crochet. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you do a double crochet. You're going to work 
two single crochet into the next chain two space one and two now we're going to start our repeat and our repeat begins in the top of our bobble stitch we're going to work two half double crochet right into the top of this stitch one and two half double crochet into the top of that bobble stitch now we're going to work two single crochet into the next chain two space one and two and that is the end of the repeat again you're working two half double crochet into the top of that next bobble stitch and then two single crochet into your next chain two space so let's do it again yarn over insert into the top of that next bobble stitch work two half double crochet one and two two single crochet into your next chain two space one and two and that is the end of the repeat so again if you're working on a wider project you're going to work two half double crochet into the top of the bobble stitch and two single crochet into the center of that shell stitch in the chain two space you're going to repeat that over so when you worked your two single crochet into the last shell across then we need to finish the row so to finish the row we're going to be working two double crochet into the top of that turning chain now remember to make sure that you're going into the correct chain it's easier to count from the bottom up and just count up one two you're going to yarn over insert into the top of that turning chain and work two double crochet one insert back into that same chain work your second double crochet and that is the end of the finishing row so it's totally up to you if you want to put the straight edge on or if you prefer that little bit of a scalloped edge I hope you enjoyed today's stitch tutorial and again here are the four samples I made and now it's up to you to see how creative you can be with this stitch pattern. Now remember all my stitch of the week patterns are free. I'll have a link in the description box underneath the video. You can click that link. You can go right to our stitch of the week page. You can scroll down. You can print out whatever stitch pattern you want and you can follow along with the stitch tutorial. So thank you everybody for stopping by and crocheting with me today. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone.